grappled from orbit by the International Space Station crew at the uh, controls of the uh, Canadarm2. Nicole Stott will be uh, at the controls to uh, use Canadarm2 to uh, grapple HTV as it uh, holds station uh, near the International Space Station. And then uh, Bob Thirsk will take over to uh, install the HTV onto the uh, Nader docking port of the Harmony node. HTV will remain at the station for some five to six weeks as the crew members unpack the uh, cargo through the hatch. They'll also use the robotic arm to remove some of that unpressurized cargo from the uh, center section and uh, that'll be installed, uh, handed off to the Japanese robotic arm and then installed on the exposed facility of the Kabo laboratory complex. After HTV's been uh, refilled with the items no longer needed on board. The crew members will use the robotic arm to remove it from its uh, port on the Harmony and place it off a uh, good distance from the station and then its uh, HTV's thrusters will fire moving uh, that vehicle toward a, a destructive entry back into the atmosphere above the Pacific Ocean. This animation shows you the HTV being uh, unberthed from uh, the Harmony node from the uh, Earth-facing port. In the center section there you can see what the, is an, an opening. That's uh, where the unpressurized cargo will be carried. Canadarm2 here operating from its base on the uh, underside of uh, Harmony will move HTV into position so that its thrusters can fire, moving it uh, away from the space station and ultimately uh, toward the uh, entry back into the atmosphere. That's a uh, similar to a progress ship or into the uh, European Space Agency's automated transfer vehicle. That's a destructive entry. Uh, HTV does not uh, land and its uh, contents are not recovered.